Hi, today I am going to tell you window read write function. This function is used to communicate between front of PLC and CNC. Various data can be transferred, read and write using this window read write function. We will simply see the format. Read function is defined to read data from CNC to front of PLC. Sub 51 window read will be used. This is the format. W1 will be the output we will define. Act will be to start this function. The control format for this we need to define function code, completion code, data length, data number, data attribute, and read data. Similarly, window write function will be used to write data for between PMC to CNC. Panuk later. Sub 52 window write will be used and format will be same. You can see this function code will be defining whatever function we are need to perform. Completion code it will be by default. We will see in the next slide. Data length, data number, data attribute. All this information will be standard and will vary according to the function code. If I want to read a data or if I want to write a data, what has to be the data number, what has to be the data length, what has to be the data attribute that is standard as defined in the manual. We will see an example. This is the format for control data. First of all, in the top address, we need to define the function code. Whatever function I want to do, whether I want to read a parameter, I want to write a parameter, I want to read a macro variable, I want to read any tool length, or I want to write any tool length. This is the standard list given by Fano. It is in the manual. We will see in the next slide. Completion code will be after executing this function code, whatever will be the result. There is a table for completion code. If normal termination, as I am reading a parameter, a parameter number 20, and its value is 4. If 4 is output in our output section data area, it will be normal completion. So, 1 will be in the data set number 2. After completing or executing this command, all this information, data length, how much byte length data we are measuring or we are writing or we are reading, it will be defined on data number 4. Data table number 6, it will be data number and data attribute. Data number, if I am reading a parameter, so this will be the value. All this list of function code is defined in the manual. You need to refer the manual. If you are reading a setting data, so you need to write a 19 function code. Similarly, if you are reading any custom micro variable, it is you need to write a function code here. You need to write a 21 value. Okay. If you are reading any diagnostic data, 33 function code you need to define. Or similarly, there are many for CNC information, access information, or any tool related management related data you can read or write. All this list is given here, and you can refer to this manual also for the detailed description of this. I will give you an example. I want to read a parameter, so I will use a, as per function code defined is 17. See here you can also see function code 17 is for reading a parameter. Completion code uh, it is given in the manual need not to be set. Okay, so we will not set anything in the completion code. We will go to need not to be set data length for this function. It need not to be set, but we will see in some function uh, there should be some standard value that we have to set. Uh, parameter number, whatever parameter you want to read. I want to read parameter number 20. Okay, so I will write here 20. And uh, same thing, data attribute, if it is related to access, so we will write whatever access it is, x axis, y axis, 1, 2, 3. If you want to read parameter for all the axis, so we will write a minus 1 accordingly and output, whatever the output value of that parameter, it will come into this. Now see an example. This is the function code I have written. Sub 52, D bit is D2000. D2000 means in D2000 we need to define function code. Okay. In D2002, 
as per this completion goal so need not to be said 2004 data length has given data length need not to be set for this case uh, there is nothing zero we have set here and uh, parameter number 20 we are reading here so we will write 20 it is not related to excel so as in manual it is given uh, zero we need to set and uh, when we will execute that command if x 5.0 has written before it when it will uh, get high so this uh, command will execute it will read a parameter and value will come on data tab table number 2010 here you can see the same 18 is for reading a data writing a data uh, here 18 is written writing a parameter so same we will use writing a parameter completion code it will be same data length will be same no need to be set parameter number we need to set data attribute not related to access will go to zero and suppose i want to put nine here so i will put nine whenever this input will get high so the value in this parameter will go to nine similarly one more example i will show you reading a custom micro or writing a custom micro as in manual it is given 21 and 22 21 i am reading a micro completion code as no need not to be set now see here they have given you need to set six here for the data length okay whatever macro number you want to read or write that you need to define them 2106 okay one two three four bit this is a six data number data attribute will go same for which access you want to define it will go data attribute macro is not related to access it will go to zero okay output will come whenever this command will get executed this input will get high the act will get high so it will execute it and value will come here in this similarly we want to read so we need to do the same thing so here uh, in cnc you can see this is the page uh, 2100 i have defined 22 and 0 now 6 i have defined so this is the 6 value 900 macro number 900 i am trying to write so macro number 900 has been written attribute has been written to 0 and the whatever value we want to write okay i want to write number 28 to macro number 900 see i have read right here 900 so this is how it works i hope you all understand it now we will see this practical example on the machine okay this is as you can see this is the ladder screen and in this ladder screen you can see this is window write function we are using this is the instruction number sub 51 this is the format this is the data table number d2100 and this is the instruction sub 51 and window write function we are using we will activate using x 5.0 and output will be go to r 0.7 Okay, so we will go to this data number and we will see how this will practically work. Uh, data table screen and you can see this is uh, D2100 and uh, we will zoom it. Now we are using function code 22 as a function code 22 is defined in Sanuk manual for uh, writing a macro and uh, this is the data structure of this this is a, a 900 is the macro number whatever we will use and uh, this is the value we will put like now i am using 28 so when i will execute this using the x input this 28 will be written to macro variable number 900 now i will go to the macro number and we will see this 900 and uh, as i will put the x input And this is I am pressing the X input. This uh, now you can see this value uh, written to 900 number, and this command got executed. So this is the practical 